Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mea Royo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. In today's video, I'm going to try and film it from nature. We have a video today about my maze video schedule. And I know a lot of you have been asking to see where I currently live, where I moved a few days ago. So I thought that I could do this from outside because I don't really need internet to film this video. I don't even need my laptop. I'm just using my phone. And this is where I'm at right now. This is like one kilometer from my home with the Piri mountain, I think, in the back. And I'm gonna try to film it here. I brought my selfie stick, which is also like a stand. But I hope that the wind will mellow down a bit, otherwise the sand is going to keep falling off. I'm carrying a bunch of things that I bought here now. And, I don't know, let's just find a cool, quiet place to film this video. And let's get started with May's schedule. Not May me, May the month. <laughs> so, I finally found a nice place to have a sit down here. And I am going to go and edit this video in the co-working space next to my house. I actually bought headsets today so I could do that because I didn't have headsets yesterday. But I thought that this could be cool to film this video from here because I don't need my laptop to film today. And I was out and about in the city. I needed to get new headsets. I need to get like an iPhone cover. I need to get a bunch of clothes because I didn't pack enough when I came here. And it was so easy and so cheap to buy because, well, apparently Benska, Bulgaria is one of the cheapest places in the world to get pretty much anything, so I'm kind of psyched. I, I'm kind of nervous because I'm feeling like maybe the wind here will come off in the sound really bad and I won't be able to edit it out so I'll have to film it again. But you know, cross your fingers so that this will be the final cut. Because today we're having May's schedule. And I don't mean mine, I mean uh, May month. And I know that a lot of people have asked me either on the group or on DMs uh, to show you guys around Bansko a bit. So we're going to have a few segments that I'm going to kind of show you some stuff that I took from photos and I'm probably going to do it while I'm talking right now. And I got here on May 3rd. It's been quite awesome. And I know that a lot of people don't really know or don't really get the whole point of it. It's uh, I think that a lot of people who work online never get the fact that they can work from anywhere. And I think that it's like two types of people. The people who start working online and then they realize they can do it from anywhere in the world. And then there's the people who want to travel. So, you know, they find work to do in the middle. And the whole concept, the whole, it's called the digital nomad movement. Basically people nomading around working from their laptops. So I'm from the first kind. I started my business in 2016 and I, I know, why am I saying that? Started my business in 2015 and I spent a year in Israel with my business and I think that when I was like, you know, the adult years of my life and I think like after the army, it's sort of this thing that for many, many years before I started this, it was like, I have a job so I, I will move closer to my job and then if I stop this job, then I will find a job close to my house and then, you know, I'll move again. So it's always like having this like work and home close by. And then it came to the point where I moved closer to a co-working space when I became a freelancer. I became a freelancer in the middle end of 2015. And then at the end of 2015, I found a good co-working space in my city. So I just moved closer to it. And I think it was the middle of 2016 that I realized that I was looking for my next apartment. I had problems with my contract. I had problems with my landlord. And I was just thinking, you know, well, because I was instantly, my instinct was to, to search for an apartment close by. But then I realized that the only thing that I really need, like my office is my laptop and I, I, like, I need the internet. So I started looking into other places that might be cheap. So it sort of came to the point where going to Romania at that point with like the flight plus one month of rent would be the same amount of money that I spend in Israel for one month of rent. And if I stay longer, obviously, you know, the flight prices is just the one time that you go. And so I started. And I think I didn't even know that it was called a digital nomad back then. I think a friend of mine told me, like, you're going to be a digital nomad. And I'm like, no, I'm a content writer. I'm a content creator. I'm a graphic designer. I'm an affiliate. Uh, but that's how it sort of started. So I was, I think, like, I sort of, like, ping pong between... Bucharest in Romania and Bangkok in Thailand and the camera is about to fall off 
<laughs> this is so random. It's so cool. I'm loving it. And I was supposed to spend 2020 in a very different way. Well, I'm guessing all of us had different plans for 2020. But uh, I'm getting my Portuguese passport this year. Still need to go and figure out if I'm going to do it in Portugal or back in Israel. And I knew that. So I wanted to spend 2020 maximizing my tourist visa in four different locations in Europe so that when I get my passport, I'll know where I want to relocate. So the first one was Romania because I really miss my friends in Bucharest and I really love this place. And the plan was to be there until the end of March and then in April to come to Bansko, Bulgaria. And then coronavirus started and I think it was like about five hours before I went out to get a train from Romania to Bansko, like to Sofia. Uh, the Bulgarian authorities closed the borders uh, for tourists. And I feel like this time around, finding this sort of like deal or, you know, coming back here sort of feels like I'm picking off where I left it. Sort of like April 2021 is somehow the month after March 2020, if that makes any sense. This past year I've been in Israel, I've lived in, I think, like five or six different apartments. I didn't really, I don't know how to say it, find myself there. Uh, it's usually like it's really expensive to live in big cities and in small cities or in small villages without a car you really can't do anything not even like grocery shopping and I, I really kind of like it here even though it is a small small town but everything is like close by and you have everything I mean it took me literally walking one kilometer from home and there's like huge supermarkets and uh, electronic stores and clothing shops and pharmacies and like everything you need plus this you know this <laughs> thing here <laughs> Which is insane because I'm not even, I, I didn't even have to go far. I was like, I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to find a nice spot in nature. I was like preparing myself physically, but, the, but I'm literally sitting in front of the supermarket right now. I hope that the Bulgarian people are not like, who's this crazy blonde chick who's talking to her phone? And I really do love it here. I'm staying at a nice little resort here. You can check out more on my Instagram because I post a lot of stories from there and I do a lot of shopping. I think I'm sort of like maximizing the amount of shopping that I wanted to do in Israel for forever and just didn't have the opportunity to do. But uh, enough about that. If you have more questions about Vansko or about what I do or this journey, I'm going to leave a link down below in this video for the Ask Me Anything video that you will soon know when is it going to be airing. It's a Google form and you just have to fill it out. It's anonymous. If you want, you can leave your name in. And you are also going to find shop review links below to put in your shop reviews. We're having two shop reviews this month, two shop review videos, and five in June. And just before we get started, if you've seen my channel, then you know what I'm going to say. Because if you're watching this as a live premiere, you might have noticed that I'm on the chat, which is quite impossible given the fact that I'm <laughs> not touching anything. Uh, that's because live premieres are not live videos, live premieres are YouTube features that basically allows me to watch the video for the first time after it's been uploaded onto YouTube, after I edit it, and sort of watch it with you guys together. So if you have any questions about this video, you can put it in the live chat, or if you just want to say hi. And I kind of feel like sometimes we're sort of like building ourselves as a community through this live chat, which is why I also opened the Facebook group, which you can join too, it's, the link is down below. And I really feel like these live chats are super cool and I think I'm going to keep them up even though it's more work because it's basically, you know, I film the videos and then I edit the videos and then I watch them again with you guys. But I knew that going in that YouTube is going to take a large portion of my time and I think that I, I willingly chose to let it occupy almost my entire life to the point where 90% of what I do is YouTube at the moment. I, I don't know if that's financially smart, but you know, time will tell. And without further babbling, let's get to our May's schedule because if, <laughs> thank God I brought my notebook with me. By the way, I don't know if you've seen that one in one of my videos, but I have two journal books. I have one for my schedule, like an agenda book, and I have one just for the prime focus of what I want to do so that's YouTube and the YouTube notebook goes with me anywhere in case I have ideas so if you're doing that as well like let's say you're selling on Redbubble or let's say you're selling on Etsy or you're having your own print-on-demand fashion brand with Shopify so even if you just go outside take the notebook that is your business ideas like your brain dump 
take it with you wherever you go. Because I literally can stop in the middle of the street and just take out a pen and write stuff down if, if it comes to me or if someone DMs me and I don't want to forget about it later. So always carry that with you. But enough chit chat, guys. It's time for the schedule for this month. So you already know that the first of the month was my goals video because it already happened. And yesterday we had print on demand supplier this new reviewed and I really do love their products. I'm actually thinking about ordering some more. I sort of played around with them. I designed a few like laptop cases and a few hoodies that I think I'm going to order here. Even though right now after doing this like random shopping errand run, I got a bag this big full of clothes for 30 euros. That's insane. So the 5th of May was this new supplier review. And today is the schedule and a little bit of bands go. On the 8th of the month, which is in two days, we will have a video about how to promote an Etsy printable shop using a WordPress blog that basically gives out freebies. I'm gonna take you through the process of how you create a freebie, how you upload it, how you make sure that people can download it, and how you make sure that it is sort of linked to your Etsy store, that they can buy more. This can be a blog where you post frequently and you upload a lot of freebies. You can also just upload three or four freebies forever. But the whole concept is that a lot of people are searching for free stuff, like free coloring book, free planners, free calendars. But if they see something they like, they might want to invest more money in if it's a larger package. And we will be talking about that. I will be using mayaroyo.com, which I used for the other WordPress tutorial. And after I finish doing that, then I will finally have the time to take mayaroyo.com and actually make it a website about this channel and about everything that I do. But that's going to be on the 8th, how to promote an Etsy printable shop with a freebies blog. If you are doing a Shopify store for digital downloads, then a lot of the things that I'm going to do are lessons that you could use for that, as well as the Google SEO video that we had last month. On May 10th, we are going to go over the art of wear, print and demand supplier. They are also a marketplace and they also integrate. And I kind of want to dive deeper into the options that you have if you want to integrate with Art of Wear or if you want to sell on their platform because they do have a lot of very unique products and I know that this is a video that a lot of you have been asking for such a long time. On the 11th of this month, we will have the Ask Me Anything video with all the answers to your questions. Now is the time to ask questions. This could be about me, about my life, about what I do for a living, about YouTube if you have any questions. One of the people actually asked like commented i have too many questions on youtube dude just dump it on me just write down 10 10 youtube questions i don't mind honestly and you can also ask me questions about what is good for you what is best for you like describe the situation you're at uh like if you have this dilemma between different things just make sure that if you ask a question that is about your professional life be detailed about it because I won't be able to ask you like minor questions to understand before applying on the video. So the Ask Me Anything questions answered will be at the 11th of the month. On 13th of May is my promise to you from April because I didn't get to do the Instagram marketing as a niche, which is Instagram marketing for print and demand part three because my computer failed. I had internet problems. So this is coming up on the 13th of the month. On the 15th, shop reviews, and I'm still not sure if I'm doing it with someone else or I'm doing it alone. I'm, I think I'm, I might try to find someone in the co-working space to do it with me, and that could be fun. On the 17th, we have Etsy SEO. So that is like, we're going to be talking about the titles. We're going to be talking about SEO within the tags, within the categories. We're going to be talking about how to put like basically Google SEO within your descriptions. And we're also going to be talking about SEO tools like E-Rank and Marmalade, as well as how to find trends on actually Etsy. If you've seen the Google video that I did, like the Google SEO, then you know that you could get a lot of information from a platform even without these outside providers. So we're going to cover all that at the 17th with Etsy SEO, SEO tools, and SEO trends. At the 18th of the month, we will have Art from Shapes. It's another Design With Me video that I'm going to take you to my Canva. And I'm going to show you how I create beautiful things from existing shapes. You could create characters. You could create so many graphics that you can either sell as print on demand or as printables or as clip art. And that is going to be at the 18th. I'm also thinking that once I do like this art from shapes, so some of the shapes that I'm going to do, I'm actually going to sort of bind them and put them in a seamless pattern and design them for Redbubble. Let me know if that is interesting to you guys. 
on the 19th of May is a video that a lot of people have requested, which is sort of like 101 affiliate marketing. So I'm going to explain the whole type of field. I'm going to explain what I do in it and sort of go over maybe this is for you, what you need to get started and just the basics of it from the start. And if you like this topic after the 19th, please let me know. And there will be four or five videos about that in June because June I'm going to have 30 videos because I lost my mind. Plus, uploading here is super fast. Like, the internet here is amazing. I don't know if you guys know that, but when I was in Israel, so a video of, like, 45 minutes would have taken me about three and a half hours to upload onto YouTube. And in those three hours, my internet is basically blocked. I can't do anything. I can't watch TV. I can't use the computer. And it, it really messes up with your time. And here... I did the 45 minute video yesterday and when I was uploading it, it took 12 minutes. That's insane. It's like I got three hours and 18 minutes of my life back every day. I, I, I never want to leave Bansko, ever. On May 21st, we're going to have a video called Do This Before Starting an Etsy Shop in 2021. This will be a video that will be partially about the technology, about the knowledge you need, about what you need to learn and sort of I don't know, let's say like a checklist. But a part of that video is also going to be mentality. It's also going to be to prepare you for the, stat for the statistics and, you know, really what to expect from going into Etsy so far, like later on. I know people saying like everything is oversaturated. Uh, there are so many new sellers on Etsy, especially after Corona. So this will be an important video for anyone who's looking into Etsy for the 21st of May. And on the 23rd, a video that I've been looking forward to, which is Find Out America Part 2. Because I don't know if you know this, but you actually get a lot more from Fine Art America than just their website and just the website that they built for you. They also have integration with a different website that also allows you to actually sell photos. Just the photos like, you know, like Shutterstock or iStock. But you get to decide the commission and it's really, really amazing. And Fine Art America is going to be a big part of my life in the next few months because I'm... It's like I walk down the streets here and everything's amazing. I think I took like 400 photos before I, like in the last two days from the city. On the 24th, we will have Design With Me video, how to create illustration from photos. I am going to use Clip Studio Paint, but everything that I do on Clip Studio Paint, you guys can do on Photoshop and Illustrator just the same. And this will be a great video for people who want to do customized or personalized items. But, you know, it doesn't have to be like that because you could just... You, you could have a store where someone sends you a photo of their dog and you illustrate it and put it on a pillow, but you could also just take a random photo of the dog online of just a dog and illustrate it and create a design for Redbubble. So it's just going to be like different methods for illustrating from photos. And on the 26th, we will have, for those of you who want to sell digital download items, printables, and don't want to use Etsy, we'll have a full tutorial on how to set up your printable download shop using Shopify and this could be for printables and it could also be for you know just digital downloads that are not printables like selling clip art or seamless patterns or all of that I think it's like the first car that I, that passed by here that made noise this place is amazing and then on the 28th we will have sort of a real talk and I'm actually thinking I'll come back here to this spot and do it here about the meaning of passive income, what it means, because I know a lot of people think that passive income means never working, which is insane because I think that for most people in the first two, three years, developing a passive income is working way harder than a full-time job and even a full-time job plus. So we're going to have a real talk about passive income on the 28th of the month, and we will finish this month on the 31st with shop reviews. This month only has 17 videos, for the reason that, well, one, I didn't know how much videos I'll be able to make here. I have a lot of different things to do with my own business because I'm kind of failing some of my clients. I'm not failing, but I guess uh, putting off projects. And I'm also putting off projects that I want to promote, like the website for this channel. And on June, there are going to be 30 videos in 30 days. So, you know, you'll get to see me plenty then. And that is it, guys, for today. I hope that you like this different type of scenery behind me this different type of vibe and again if you have more questions about bulgaria or bansko feel free to do that with the ask me anything link down below and of course like this video if you found it useful and you want me to make more cool videos from the outside and comment what is your favorite topic for this month i'm reminding you on the 8th how to promote an etsy printable shop with a freebies blog on the 10th art of wear 
On the 11th, ask me anything, questions answered. On the 13th, Instagram marketing part three as a niche. On the 15th, shop reviews. On the 17th, Etsy SEO, SEO tools and trends. On the 18th, art from shapes design with me video. On the 19th, affiliate marketing one-on-one -on -one to see if affiliate marketing is something that is good for you. On the 21st, do this before opening an Etsy store at 2021. Also practical stuff, a checklist as well as mentality going in. On the 23rd, Find Out America Part 2. On the 24th, another Design With Me videos, how to illustrate from photos, whether to create personalized items or just, you know, cool stuff. On the 26th, how to open a Shopify store for digital download and printable items. On the 28th, Passive Income Real Talk, which will probably be set as well as this one in the middle of nowhere. And on the 31st, another Shop Reviews videos. I would like to thank all of you amazing people for all your DMs in the past few days. I've been bombarded with DMs from viewers telling me to like, never mind the channel, just chillax and enjoy the view uh, and you know, safe flight and they're happy that I found my place and it's just been amazing as well as so many viewers who are either from Bulgaria or visited Bulgaria that sort of gave me tips about this place. You guys really, really, really rock and you're the reason why. I'm seriously taking on YouTube next month as just almost all that I do. And so thank you. I'm going to stop being wishy right now. I'm going to put on my sunglasses, put on my face mask and going to the supermarket. And with that being said, this video is done. If you've seen any of my videos, you know exactly what I'm about to say right now because the live chat is going to go in three, two, one, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.